Hey, hey, what's up, beautiful people? It's me, Kostov again from Cryolight Studios, and this is part 4 of Coco's Creator Game Development. Today, we're gonna have a look at uh, layering things in Coco's Creator, for which I have already downloaded some images, and here they are. Download the PNG of Luffy.png, and here's one of my own, CryolightIcon.png. Okay, so let's uh, open up Coco's Creator. There we are, and uh, we're gonna put some images into our project by simply dragging and dropping them onto the assets panel, like so. There we go, and we're gonna focus our drop location onto this texture area on this texture folder. I'm gonna drop it now. There we are see it loads up for some time and then it's right there sitting in our project so I can minimize this folder out here and my images are ready to be spawned in my scene right so for now I'm gonna delete this sprite that we were working on in our previous tutorials so there we are delete and yeah, I'm gonna show you some different ways of uh, actually putting in sprites in our game. So first thing is right clicking in here in the node tree and create render nodes and create sprite now. Okay, there you go. And then we can position it anywhere we want. And if I simply single click on this Le uh, you know this level out here new sprite I can rename it like so so if I want this to be a download icon or a download sprite so to speak I can say download alright I can simply drag and drop this image out here into this sprite frame section or the sprite frame property of the sprite component like so awesome right and you know by default it's supposed to be uh, on the uh, default scale or default dimensions of the image but you know you can change the size mode out here to raw and uncheck the stream okay and let me do that once again. Fair enough. So this is one of the ways of creating a sprite. And let's keep this sitting out here for the now. And create another sprite. Okay. And the next method of uh, creating a sprite onto our scene is by simply dragging this image icon onto the game scene. Like so there we go whoa that's big so what we can do here is go from the size mode once again go to raw and object trim okay I guess this image is way too big what we can do is actually uh, you know shrink down the size 1500 by 1500 what we can do is I don't know, maybe 128 by 128. Okay, that's decent enough. All right, very cool. Notice that uh, you know, whenever I'm changing the size, it doesn't actually affect the scale. So basically, the scale is multiplied on top of the size, right? Okay. Now another way of uh, adding a sprite basically onto the scene is by creating an empty object like so there we go create create empty object you know, now what you can see here is that this is an absolutely empty object and drag it and position it here like so and then from this add component section notice that I am still highlighting or selecting this new node which is an empty node that I just created and then what I can do is from the properties panel or the inspector I can add component 
add render component and sprite there we go now notice that uh, our default sprite image hasn't been uh, applied to this one so what we are going to do is drag this image and put it in here boom right raw and check trim all right there we are now we can like always rename this single click and rename okay now what we can do is uh, check out how each of these are rendered right because it's a 2d game environment after all so if I select the floppy and drag it like so what we notice is that it is being rendered behind the Cryolite logo let's see about uh, this download sprite out here it's behind the floppy and as well as the cryolite. Okay, let me explain what's going on out here. If you notice the node tree, we have the download sprite which was created at first, the floppy which was created next, and the cryolite icon which was created at last. Right? So the rendering process uh, is something like this. Whichever you create the latest will be rendered on top, right? In other words, whatever you uh, create uh, uh, later on will be rendered with the topmost, right? Now what we can do is you know, uh, because it, they are all sitting right there in this fashion, what if I want to change the layering or the way they are rendered, right? So by simply select, uh, say I want to uh, select uh, this one, probably, and put it behind the download icon, what we can do is select this one and put it and grab this one, notice in the node tree, and drag it before the download right notice the logic here whatever is put before will be rendered behind whatever comes after is rendered later on or on top right so that's one way of looking at things you know whatever you put relatively at the top part of this node tree will be rendered behind whatever comes down will be rendered later so it follows the sequence like so first the cryolite then the download then the floppy in sequence moving from top to bottom why because this will be rendered first this will be rendered second and this will be rendered third or at last okay so if i want to change the layering of floppy so that it's behind download what am i gonna do i'm gonna just select this and drag it just before download see makes sense right okay this still works get the drift okay all right then i guess that covers up layering in this section of this tutorial and I guess it's time to wrap up in this section and we're gonna see you in the next tutorial. Till then don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give me a like if you like this video and stay tuned for the next tutorial. Alright then, have fun guys, bye bye.